A political bombshell dropped in D.C. because former acting FBI director, that's Andrew McCabe, has told Scott Pelley on 60 Minutes, and we'll tell it tomorrow night, that basically a silent coup was going on in the White House, right? That's exactly right. And McCabe, though, this is a guy that lost his job as acting director, the, as the number one person at the FBI, because of multiple times he was found to have lied and sometimes under oath. So it's kind of hard to know what you can trust and what you can trust. But um, he has said, and 60 Minutes has only released a few little snippets, but he is again doubling down that he knew Rod Rosenstein was serious when he said he would wear a wire. And Rosenstein has lied and said that, uh, oh no, he was just kidding. And that's according to the people, what people have told me and uh, I, I get people telling me some stuff because they've seen even when I'm under fire on the air uh, with unhappy people I don't give up sources and in the situation of McCabe yeah he is a liar but just because he's a liar and perjurer doesn't mean that sometimes he doesn't tell the truth uh, he, he does time to time mm -hmm. and when it comes to whether Rod Rosenstein was serious um, and, and lied about just kidding around. What McCabe knows, and I don't know if he says it on 60 Minutes, but there was a second meeting. Uh, Rosenstein was getting beat up because they were saying, gosh, you, you helped fire Comey, our buddy Comey, and, and you're not serious about taking out Trump. And he, that's in the first meeting. He said, yeah, I'll, I'll even wear a wire if you want to. I, I'll help you take him out. Wow. And to, in, to ensure that people knew how serious he was at a separate meeting with McCabe, and there, there was uh, at least one other witness, Rosenstein brought it up again a second time and said, look, I was really serious. I will wear a wire to try to take down the president. And McCabe uh, heard that, and then he went and immediately briefed some of his deputies mm -hmm. of what Rosenstein had just said a second time, that he's still insisting he'll wear a wire to try to take down the president. And you can understand from McCabe's standpoint, he's looking at criminal investigations that may take put, end up putting him in jail for perjury. And here you've got Rosenstein Rod Rosenstein that has lied repeatedly, yeah. and he's still the number two at the Department of Justice. Now, that's just incredible. I mean, we're talking about the top law enforcement officials in the nation, the FBI and the DOJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Why now? You know, timing is everything in D.C. and in politics. Why now is McCabe throwing Rosenstein under the bus? Well, it is. He's, like I say, he's upset. Rosenstein is still sitting pretty as the, the uh, number two person at the whole Department of Justice. McCabe had become acting the number one uh, person at the FBI, and now he's facing all these potential criminal problems, and Rosenstein is still sitting high. So it's got to go, be going down pretty tough for McCabe yeah. uh, that he could very well uh, do some time for his potential crimes and Rosenstein is still sitting there getting to direct uh, what goes on when he was a big maybe the biggest co-conspirator in trying to take down a duly elected president. Okay two things quickly so once again do you think Rosenstein did wear a wire and number two before we have to go Bill Barr is going to be the new AG he's already been sworn in is he going to basically clean house with us? Well we don't know what Barr is going to do and I have some serious concerns about that. Rosenstein Rosenstein never actually wore a wire as far as we know, but his continued insistence, even at a second meeting, that he would wear a wire to help take down the president uh, means that we had people, as Casey, as you were saying, the top guy at, at the FBI, the acting director, and you've got uh, back before he was fired, the acting director of the FBI and DOJ top. It, it's incredible that they were conspiring about taking down the duly elected president. Yeah, I know that a lot of Democrats have been so defensive 
but this goes to the very base, the foundation of our country. Right. It'll, it'll, oh my goodness, it'll definitely be interesting to Serious see how stuff. this plays out, out yeah. especially with William Barr. Uh -huh. Congressman Gomer, our time goes by so quickly when you come into our studio, but we thank you yeah. so much for, for coming in. Come in back. D.C. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yes, Love please come back again. Thank you for caring so much. Thank All you. Right.